Hi everyone, this is a demo of a Mark 7 monorail widget. Version 3 with um, CSS3 animation. Um, here's the scripting for it. It's kind of messy right now. A lot of stuff going on, but. And a few hacks going on, but it all works fine, which is what matters, right? Let's see, let's run this. I really need to update this default image because it looks like crap, but there it is. Oops. There we go. <laughs> it's not coming with me. Oh well, let's just stay in this window. So, if you notice when you when you hover over it. This little, um, this little color icon fades in and starts to pulse to grab your attention to it. Um, there's also an info icon, but basically to change the color of it, you just you just tap the you just press the the color button, and um, there's a I, I've set it up so there's a slider. And you just slide along. and it will update the color for you. For some reason it's not smooth, maybe it's because I'm recording. Usually it's pretty smooth when I'm not recording, but um, there's that. Let's see, you can also adjust it by RGB. Um, this part's still a little buggy. Like right now the Red should be all the way up there, and the blue should be all the way up there. And it should be white, but it's not. There, like that. You can also, you can also pick, you can also pick colors. Um, you know, these are the classic, classic monorail colors for the Mark 7 monorail. Um, if you're so obliged, you can also add your own colors. Like let's say you want to add green to this. Oops. Let's say you want to add green to this. And it's still a little buggy right now. I have to work out some of the kinks. If you want to add green to the selector, you would just type. You press up. You press the little plus icon that was there. You type in green, and return. And if if you notice, it's now one of the options, and you can choose that green and save it. So there's that. Also, if you click on either side of either side of the monorails, um, or either side of the monorails um, ends, I guess you um, the doors will open. That's a neat feature. Um, this was inspired by Steven Selinsky. Cool guy. He made the original composition for this, which was this is based off of. Um, I used some of his images in the second or the third in reincarnation of it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Also, if you click on the, the the little eye icon, the info icon, you should hear actually. Maybe I'll edit that part out. You should hear them. You should hear the monorail. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, the sparkle feature. Um, I haven't really worked out yet. You can see that it's calling events for it, but it'll do something. I promise. You can see it's version three point oh, beta one. There's that.
Um, that's not really accurate anymore. The nice chat part. But, eh, oh well. There's still a few bugs in it, like if, um, such as if you click the color icon while there's a custom color up, it'll reset it. Or maybe not. I guess I just fixed that. I did some work earlier. I didn't realize I updated that. So yeah. Cool. You can save it. There's this guy. 